And right now, researchers are racing to determine whether the blood clots are in fact related to or caused by the J&J vaccine. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez continues our team coverage. All six cases were women between the ages of 18 and 48 and developed blood clots within about two weeks of receiving the vaccine. One woman died and a second in Nebraska has been hospitalized in critical condition. Federal health officials emphasize the extreme rarity of the blood clots, only six cases out of nearly 7 million people who have received the J&J shots so far. The vast majority of those are safe, but here's what to watch for after the J&J vaccine. For people who got the vaccine more than a month ago, the risk of them is very low at this time. For people who recently got the vaccine within the last couple weeks, they should be aware to look for any symptoms. If you perceive the vaccine and develop severe headache, abdominal pain, leg pain, or shortness of breath, you should contact your health care provider and seek medical treatment. Those symptoms are different and much worse than the mild flu-like symptoms common for a day or two after any of the vaccines. The worst symptoms seem to come 6 to 13 days after vaccination. A critical alert for physicians is how these particular clots should be treated. They need to ask about vaccine history. Because if they give heparin, what could happen? If they give heparin, it could be worse. Uh, and it could actually harm the patient even further. FDA's Independent Vaccine Advisory Committee will meet tomorrow to evaluate all the data related to the J&J vaccine and determine further recommendations. There have been no similar blood clot issues, either with the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And for more information on the coronavirus vaccines, you can head over to our website. It's all there for you at cbsnewyork.com.